Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Friday, March 12th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, guys, happy Friday. We have some birthdays today and over the weekend. And those birthdays are Brielle Allen, Sudia Bright, Callie Jackson Curry, Troy Morton, Nurse Amy, and Miss Leslie in the cafeteria. So happy birthday to all of you. We wish you a wonderful day of celebration, whether it's today or over the weekend. And just a reminder, we will be announcing some open-minded lover leaders on Monday. So get ready for that. And please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson Learning Leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, and it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, so please join me in singing the Johnson School song from wherever you are. Hail to James G. Johnson School, with your standards true. We will always love and cherish memories of you. Lift the chorus till it reaches even heaven's blue. Hail to James G. Johnson School, hail all hail to you. You have been our inspiration through each passing day. And to you we pledge allegiance now and for always. Lift the chorus till it reaches even heaven's blue. Hail to James G. Johnson School, hail all hail to you. I think I heard you guys all over Charlottesville. That was awesome. And forgive me, my voice is a little scratchy. I think I've been talking so much more than usual since we've got kids back in the building. All right, news you can use. Our Women's History Month Hero of the Day. You probably don't even recognize her. I didn't even know her until I researched about her. Her name is Sarah Good. Um, and though she is not as familiar to us, she is still totally and completely legit awesome. So she was born in 1950 and because, or sorry, 1850. And because her parents were enslaved, she then was also born into enslavement, but she became who they believe was the very first African-American woman to be granted a U.S. patent um, for a really super cool invention that I'm going to tell you about in a second, which you can see a little sneak peek here. So here's how it went down, right? At the end of the civil war, Good moved to Chicago and became an entrepreneur, which means she owned her own business. Um, and here's where it gets interesting. She and her husband, his name was Archibald and he was a carpenter. They owned this furniture store and all these people would come in to buy furniture, but they lived in these like teensy, teensy, teensy little apartments that didn't even have room for a bed. So as a solution to that problem, Sarah Good invented a cabinet bed, which she called a folding bed. Um, it's similar if you've ever seen a Murphy's bed that are in some houses today. It's similar to that. So when the bed was not being used, this is what it looked like. It looked like a roll top desk. Uh, you guys have probably seen a roll top desk. It had like the little rolling thing that rolls up and down. Um, but then when you're ready to go to bed, right, you move the desk into the middle of the room and you fold down each side and it folds into a bed. And so it was like an awesome invention that really helped a lot of people. Um, so she's awesome. Again, her name was Sarah Good. Check her out. All right. In other news, you can use just a reminder um, from Ms. Flowers that we will not be having the library book pick up today. We usually do it on Fridays, but not today. We're going to wait and do it next Friday, which is March 19th. All right, today's joke of the day comes from Miss Crawley's class way back from the beginning of the year. I wrote it down because I thought it was a really good one. Why does the letter A look like a flower? Why does the letter A look like a flower? Because a B is always coming after it. Ah, I get it. That's a good one, fourth grade. Thank you for sharing that, Miss Crawley's class. All right, and that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday and think about how you can roar today at your house or wherever you are. We love you. We hope you have an awesome day today, and we'll catch you on Monday. Have a great weekend.